What's up guys? It's your SRB2 dude today today and today I'm going to teach you guys who do not know how to host on SRB2 or Sonic Robo Blast 2. Same thing. But anyway, um as you can see with one person who is actually hosting right now, they have not forwarded their port. And you can notice that if it says the unknown game type, there's no one or they don't even know how many players there are except for like from this one as well. The ping is is an X. <laughs> and if you click on the query or something like that, you should get server did not respond to the query either because it's offline or the host hasn't forwarded the port. And most of the time it's because the host has not forwarded their port. No crap. But anyway. Uh, so basically, what you want to open up right now is you want to open up CMD in programs. And CMD is the fast way of opening up command prompt. So I've opened it up. And this is what you want to type in. You want to type in IP config. I put a P there. Config. I am typing with one finger, but you know, that's how, that's how I'm going to do it. But anyway. Um, so basically, you have two things that you have that you want to have. Well, numbers, in same thing. Well, not really the same thing. But anyway, let's, let's let's just get to it. But anyway, so you want the IP version four address, the that number. Yeah, usually it it could be IP version five, version two, version one. Doesn't matter what version it is. That's what what you see there is what you want the IP, yeah, what that number. That's what you want. Anyway, uh, the next the other number that you want is the default gateway, and the default gateway is that is basically the source that you really want to actually get anywhere. Well, it's the first thing you actually need. But still, 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 let's let's, 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 let's just get to it. Anyway, so basically, get the the default gateway's number. And my one is uh one nine two one six eight zero oh one. So I'm gonna type that in Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, whatever you whatever browser you're using. Because I've already got it up. I'm gonna just click it up. Uh some of you might have a password and stuff like that for it. And because I've already just gone into it and I've typed in my password and all that type of stuff, uh, I don't need to type it in anymore, so uh, if you want to find your password or your username for your modem or router, you need to check your router or modem. It should be on the side or anything like that or around it. I don't know where it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere around there. But anyway, uh, you'll have a menu like this. Not all your menus should be. The, not all your menus are going to be the same because you guys are going to have probably different routers to me. But usually the same the, it's the same process what you have to do on any router so basically you should have a tab that says port forwarding and that's obviously the one that you want to click on i mean when i first saw it that's, i was just like yeah i need to click on that but anyway um and you should have like a menu like this and it should have name the start port the end port the protocol and the local ip address so because we're hosting on sonic robo blast 2 we're gonna put the start port in, and obviously you should, you guys should know this. The start port is five zero two nine, and you do the exact same for the end port as well because you want it to end at the same port. So anyway, five zero two zero nine, five zero two zero nine. Yeah, I said the wrong number, but anyway, that's all right. And with protocol, uh, you should have an op two options you should have or actually no three options you should have tcp udp or both and the one that you you need is udp not tcp because tcp is just not important but if you have but you know if you have the option to choose both of them choose both but you know cuz i cuz i have the option to choose both but you know i'm just going to go with udp just to see it, just to show you guys it works Anyway, the uh, I said anyway like twenty times. Anyway, um, the like the uh, other thing you need to type in is the local IP address code or something like that. Every time you see it's zero or something like that. So you open up command prompt again, 
And you'd see with um, the local IP address, not the one at the top, not the one that has like that shows like uh, a load of like random words and let and numbers and stuff like that. Not that one. It's the one. It should be the one below it. But because uh, my IP version four address ends in two, what I need to do is put two at the end of my local P address. And sometimes um, this changes, like your local IP address thing, it changes sometimes. That's probably why you saw like four and six and stuff like that, because I, you know, I don't know why it changes. It just, it just happens. But anyway, with name, you can type anything in, just type blah, 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 and um, add the thing. So you press add. And from this, my server should have forwarded or forward it, it's port. I should have forwarded my port. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, I said anyway, it's like 20 times anyway. Fuck. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, so my server, so I'm going to host and it's going to be called um, doing something. So I'm just going to host really quick here. So yeah, guys, this is, so I just made up a random server up. So I'm going to refresh the tab. Refreshing the tab, come on. And you see, this this is my server, the one that says doing something. As you can see, it has my stuff and stuff like that, you know, my, my internet protocol. And you actually see that people can join my server. This is, you know, one to 14, because that's my thing. Uh, everything's normal, it says, it shows a normal ping because I can host. And I'm gonna show you that this actually does work. So what I'm going to do quickly here is um, I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to refresh the tab in the master server. Uh, so I'm going to quickly delete this just to show you it works. I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to refresh the tab. Remember the server is called doing something. Remember that. So refresh the tab. And look it. Doing something is now all unforwarded. Or unforwarded ported, whatever what, uh, do you want to call it. I don't know what, what it's called, but you know, that's what it's called. I, s I repeat so many words. But anyway, it's, yeah, it's, it's, now it says server did not respond to the query either because it's gone offline or the host has not forwarded the port. But the thing is, I did forward it my port, but I just, you know, took it away or deleted it. But yeah, that's basically, that's basically it, guys. So... Hope you enjoyed it. If you learned something or it actually worked for you guys, please leave a like. Send it to your friends who wants to host or something like that. I don't know. I don't really mind. Uh, comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. It always helps me out and stuff like that. Favorite it if you enjoyed or more enjoyed it so much that you just like exploded from enjoyment. But yeah, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I shall see you guys later. Peace out.